So today I'm going to show you guys a quick way to fix a Squire or Fender guitar with an issue that seems to be very common. I received an email from a viewer. Her name was Sue and this is what she said. Let me get right to it. I have a Squire bullet that's two years old that I take extremely good care of. Something is wrong with the high E string. It's slipping off the fretboard. I checked all the screws. Everything is all tight and checked out. I've never had this problem before. Well, easy enough. I'm going to show you a quick way to fix it. And in this tackle box will be two tools that I think you should have. First is a Phillips head screwdriver. And second is a measuring tool. And believe it or not, this isn't that important. What is important, however, is that the Phillips head screwdriver you have is the correct size for the screws for the neck pocket. Now what's interesting is this Squire bullet is my personal Squire bullet. I did a video three years ago with this uh, doing a review of it. I still have it and use it every day and uh, the only thing has changed since that original review is in that time I had some Wiggins pickups put in it. Three single coils. Now I have Wiggins humbucker single single in it. I love those pickups. This guitar sounds and plays amazing. And what I did is I recreated her problem. To fix the problem, it's super easy. All you want to do is make sure the guitar is in tune. Take your Phillips head screwdriver and I want you to turn counterclockwise each screw. I'm going to probably start with something like a half turn. Do not worry about the neck stripping or pulling out. One half rotation each one. Like I said, you can do a half or full rotation. It's up to you. Then what I want you to do is sight the guitar, put it in your lap, that's how I like to do it, and sight the guitar, holding the body firmly with the right hand, and the left hand, I want you to pull the neck towards you, and you'll notice that it will line right up. Now, if you want, you can use a measuring tool and measure the distance off the fret edge to make sure it's exact. For me, I have no problem just kind of finding that spot right there, once you have it to where you think it's in the right position, go ahead, one fluid motion, take your left hand keeping force against the headstock, rotate the body towards you like this, and you can go ahead and reach and grab your screwdriver. Using your left hand to keep the force, you can even eyeball it, everything still looks good. Go ahead and tighten the screws. I use a crisscross pattern. As you can see, it'll be a little out of tune. Just go ahead and tune it up. You want to double check. Looks like everything stayed in position the way we want. Now, if you've noticed it's gone far too far the other way, you would repeat the process the same way with go ahead and just do the same thing. Put a little force, loosen the screws, put a little force, tighten it back up. So why did this happen? Well, it happened because the pockets on these guitars are cut larger than the necks and there's play in there. There's a little way room for the neck to tilt. This is real common with older Fender guitars and inexpensive Squires. It happens all the time. Um, you shouldn't see this on expensive guitars, although I've seen them as recent as this week. Somebody sent me pictures of a more expensive guitar doing something like this. So it does happen. This is the way to fix it. It's pretty straightforward. Well, there you go. As they say, make sure you like and subscribe to help uh, support the channel and be notified when videos come out. As always, I want to thank you so much for your time. And until the next time, know your gear.